Hi, I have four journals I'm working on right now, and they're in varying degrees of doneness. This one here just has the pages stuck in it, but that's it. And the same with this one. Um, it has a lot of work got to be done. This one's almost done, and just going to bind it pretty soon. And this one's finished. So I thought I would show it today. And uh, so the name of the book is Science Stories, book one. It's a pretty big one, three signatures. And it came out pretty fat. So I used the stretch elastic to hold it together. As you can see, it's very full. Um, so I left the inside front cover. I really kind of like the picture there. Um, Library of Sacramento State College. And then on the back here, they have uh, punched in, I don't know if you can see that or not, it says for examination. So I don't know, maybe they um, were looking at books that they might use in their school system. So something like that. So I have, each signature um, starts with a piece of handmade paper, uh, locked up paper from Nepal. This one's a really pretty one. It's got that little bit of gold in it. And hidden spine. I like the way the craft text looks with the uh, with this paper. As you can see the spine is hollow. I don't glue the inside just the two edges and that gives the book some flexibility. So in the first pocket I have uh, I don't have very many of these tags I made um, left. These are the ones that I made that were inspired by Artie Mays. And once they're gone, I'm not sure I'll make any more, but they were a lot of fun, but a lot of work. That's when I had some free time, so it was fun to work on them. Um, just, so this is just some old ledger paper, and I used a stamp on it, and I like to kind of mix the inks up a little bit on the stamp and to get different effects. I like that. That came out good. A little collage tag with three little birds. Tea stain doily. This is wrapping paper, and I just put a little edge on it of decorated paper. Uh, this is from an old atlas, and I used some spray inks on it. This was actually just a mop-up paper, but I like the way it came out. Uh, stitched pocket. I got a bunch of stuff uh, from a guy that was a ham radio operator and he got postcards from all over the world. And this was back in the 50s before the Cold War, I guess. And this one is from the USSR. And a postcard inside of Colorado. Very pretty. This is uh, <clears throat> some handmade paper I have. It's very lacy yet strong. It's kind of interesting. I got it when I was doing collage um, because I like the way it adds texture. And so I thought it might be fun to use it in this book and it, it works great. Tea stained paper, tea stained envelope. This is one of the Brazil stamps I got from my friend Dee. Thanks, Dee. And in the pocket here we have a book plate. I think I also got that from Dee. A playing card. These are um, art gallery cards. So they each, have, each card has a different work of art on it. Most of it's photography. And a little stub from a... Um, Water bill, 1956. Music paper. This is a 
a Neil Young song. Uh, helpless, helpless. I'm not going to sing it. And um, this is a print from my rhododendron book. This side has some vellum paper with some writing paper inside. More stamping. And this page folds out like so. So there's extra writing space on the inside. And uh, this is from a science book, How the Flowers Arrange Themselves. <clears throat> um, so I made a little tuck, tuck pocket here on the side using the same paper that was in the book. There was an inside paper that I saved. And just put this postcard in there from Paris. And this was 1905 pretty picture. Um, this is a page from a 1937 yearbook. Had a lot of nice white paper in there, very smooth and glossy for, uh, you know, for the students to write comments to each other. So I thought it would be nice to have in this journal. Um, some printed vellum with a, a little art print here. Uh, this one says it's called Northeaster, a big stormy ocean. So since this book was called um, Science Stories, I sort of had tried to have kind of a loose science theme to this one. I say loose because there's, there's a lot of other stuff too. Tea stained uh, parchment paper. And on this side, I put another one of those beautiful postcards. This one here is also 1910. And the writing, uh, you can just barely make it out. It was done in pencil, so it's kind of hard to read it. Another, the rest of the page from the yearbook. This little tuck spot was made with um, one of those packets of Tim Holtz die cuts and made a nice, makes a nice sturdy little pocket. And then this is a, a little, just a little tag that was with some stationery that I got. So it looks kind of cute for them to be, have their little birdhouse here. More of the science book. There's one of my little clusters with some stitching. Another cluster. This one has um, pressed flour on it. Uh, this is another Neil or uh, Crosby, Stills and Nash song, Teach Your Children Well. So there's the lyrics to the song right there. And in this envelope, this side of the envelope has some playing cards, a pink flamingo, um, just a beautiful print. Looks like a some kind of a rug, Turkish rug. And Elijah McCoy, Black History flashcard. He was an inventor in the um, late 1800s. Did not get much recognition for his work. It tells about him on the back here. And the people termed the phrase the real McCoy after him because he, he invented so many things that were so useful, so they called it the real McCoy. Another little cluster with some texture stamp. I got a set of stamps, new set of stamps, Tim Holtz ones that are called fragments, and um, this is what they look like. I really like them. Stampers Anonymous. Yeah, I used it. got to use those for the first time in this one. I like how that looks. Oh, doesn't this flower look pretty behind the handmade paper? I, that's why I kind of stuck with... I had a lot of different options for putting something here, and I finally decided that 
those red roses would look beautiful there because of that paper. So I like that. A little extra fold out there. Page from the old ledger. So this is a, a pocket with a beautiful picture from an art book that was printed right here in Oregon and a quote from an author. So next signature, uh, more of the handmade paper. This one's really shiny. I don't know if you can tell. And so this one has a fold out. So there's this pocket that folds out like this. And then inside is a bookmark on the back. Um, graphics or Seven Gypsies rub on with some parchment paper over it. It's stitched. That just fits right there. And this page flips out. And there is writing space here. That's the same paper as this. I just kind of cut around the design. And here's one of my clusters. Um, some book page and a little bit of gauze there behind it and a paper flower. So here we have a little cloth flip up. This is uh, from a curtain sample um, book of curtain samples that I got and I really think these fabrics are pretty I've used them before so underneath is there's a page from a or a picture from a children's story um, this is the guy who sold Aladdin the lamp and I fussy cut around it and I thought it looked good there so uh, some adult coloring book that I sprayed some ink on uh, this is a page from that yearbook on this side, um, so I just put some sewed some extra writing paper here. Um, this is a tea stained parchment and a book page and a piece of onion skin paper. And then underneath uh, this the stuff from the yearbook. Um, round coffee filter that I tea stained. Writing space. A little tuck spot made from one of my clusters and um, a tarot card three of wands which means kind of looking towards the future and this is some handmade paper children's book page cluster that I made with some tape and uh, a little flower I cut out of a an old greeting card. So this was, uh, I had a notebook of these envelopes that were meant to keep like in important documents and receipts and stuff in. So they are a nice size for putting in a journal. And this one has an affirmation card inside. Uh, so I did put some lining of some pretty Tim Holtz paper. And then I cut the circle out here and put a um, pressed flower in there. And this on this side is a pressed um, flower of Queen Anne's lace behind some acetate packaging. A uh, page from the ledger, an envelope I made, book page, flower, and lots of stitching. But the stitching looked good in red. And inside is a bird card and a playing card. I knew I was going to have trouble doing that. There. So this pocket is made from a print of some, some kind of foreign money and a butterfly on some... Um, onion skin paper with a little bit of fabric behind it. Some tie-dye paper. And 
part of the old ledger. It's a couple of those Tim Holtz stamps. Look at how yellowed it is. I think this ledger was from 1904, but it was in very good condition. There's the rest of that envelope. Um, it also has paper on the inside and a postcard, little postcard from Australia. Another little cluster. Page from a children's book. Another stitched cluster. And on this side, one also. So this time I layered up some extra paper for writing again, and um, there's the thin tracing paper that's been coffee stained. A book page. These book pages have such beautiful borders on them, and they're different on each side. And then another piece of paper, and then the yearbook page. This has a little flip out or fold out. Um, these are little tea bag tea bag tags. Did I say that right? It's early in the morning here. And this is a map page. So I stitched on here. And then on this side you can see the map. And there's still some writing space there. And a page from my new Edith Holden book I got love the illustrations. I actually ended up getting two of the same book, but one's the hardback and one's a paperback, so I'm glad to have both there, actually. The paperback ones are a little smaller, which is fine. And last signature. Isn't that pretty? So I did some stitching here and made a little pocket with lace on top, crocheted lace. And inside is a hand-painted uh, French postcard with a quote from Victor Hugo, but it's in French. So I bought these hand-painted postcards from a lady that uh, was getting rid of a lot of her postcards. And she told me a little bit about them. People could buy them blank and then add their own artwork, which I think is a great idea. And I kind of think they still have those kind of postcards. Uh, beet stained paper. So this is uh, one of my little raggedies that I made and I turned it into a belly band. And another great song here, Beatles. She came in through the bathroom window. A hand stitched little envelope. And inside this one is a bridge tally card with a unicorn. No, Pegasus. It's Pegasus. Fits in there really nicely. So a uh, little corner tuck spot that floats up for writing, and a couple of game cards um, from the old ledger. Another page, pocket, uh, just collaged with uh, some buttons and uh, seam binding. This is the Petrified Forest in Arizona. So those are all uh, pieces of petrified, petrified wood. Some stationery. And just some printed paper I have. It's not really uh, scrapbook paper, but um, my sister got it for me as a gift. It's kind of art paperish. So uh, I kind of liked how the little bit of pink came out from my beet dyeing onto my tea staining. So that looked nice with this. So that went good together. And a little picture with some paper behind it. And so this little pocket has these ducks from a book page. Top ducks and then these playing cards with ducks. I thought those looked nice together. Just like that. And this library pocket 
has some a little collaged stuff on there, some inking, a tag. Um, this one has a little tuck spot made out of that jellyfish paper that I got at a, a thrift sh or a yard sale. And this little picture fits right in there. Paper doily here. Those came out nice. I, I've used several of those. And I don't think I have very many of those left. And that's added to a book page. So here I just kind of put some different papers together. I wanted to use this uh, square doily, but it seemed kind of fragile, so I stitched this vellum down and then some tea stained paper down at the bottom. So now it's plenty strong. Another one of those uh, new stamps I got. I love how that looks. So, so here's some more uh, colored vellum with some pictures inside. Um, it's actually uh, my mom and dad at Crater Lake on their honeymoon. It's an extra copy, so I thought I would go ahead and use it. This was 1949. And on this side, some artwork by a local artist. Um, she's from Medford, Oregon. It's really sweet little heart cards. Writing page. This one folds out. There's the rest of that doily. Another um, raggedy I made. This one just has a piece of note paper inside. These were kind of fun to do. This has a little pocket. It's empty, so something could go in there. Another little cluster. I kind of like how that one came out. Looks good with this paper, kind of retro. So as I said, science themed, but really loose on the science because there's not a whole lot of it in here. Stationery. There's from the ledger. Um, this is a picture from a old book, which I stitched down to some uh, parchment paper to make a tuck. And in here is a book page from a flower wildflower book and. And a page from the Living on the Earth book that I love. This one is uh, instructions on how to make some household cleaners and your own glue. Things you can do with uh, alum and baking soda. It's kind of interesting, educational. stained paper, a picture of a lady walking on a swinging bridge, and a blank postcard. That's all. So I should have the blue one done pretty soon and the other two shortly after. Thanks for watching.